Welcome back guys to so Kolak cool Ice and this is a part 4. In this video we've been able to add our um, your file upload functionalities. You have your choose file and you pick any file of your choice. If you only accept images then you have our post button and the input file of chain though as the default input. So I'll quickly go into the code and explain the what I did. So we already have our text area which is here, the general the default input by the placeholder then you have our input type of file then you will accept all the images then this is the name attachments so for the file upload then you also have our multi-part in type that's the in type of multi-part from the that will allow for form upload yeah so basically that's it so what i'll do is to go into the media controller and explain what i so basically this is our old controller I've made some few modifications which I will briefly explain so this is our Twitter is this it um, it's me you does it so this is our function which goes to Twitter um, so you have request and uh, yeah so I added this file if request has file attachment so it's really return so me add a few comment true or false now uh, here to uh, set the file to to now by default it will be set to now yeah, so let me just add a comment and uh, line 89 says if has file that means if it is true it will either return true or false so if a file has been uploaded to return um, true else to return false so if has file has return true then i assign the File to a variable called file, the one I created above. So if they return false, everything will still be now. Then I call the post message to Twitter function and I assign a variable called the variable file to I pass it to the function. I realize that by default, the function post message Twitter has the variable file as now. So that means it can still work if I don't pass any variable to it. Get it so far as default as now so if we miss now it will still be now so until i pass something to it so automatically i send it to the new variable i passed then um, so here if empty if not empty file so if the variable is not empty that means um, a file has actually been uploaded then what i do is to so that's it from the top here so now change to file and pass the file to bravo again so let me just ensure everything is correct no exception is true so has file return true and assign again then um let's see assign to this function also passes this function then if not empty um okay so yeah if it's not empty then it says a post message to twitter status of the other parameters now the parameters um what do I do is to uh, so let me just add a few comments so if a file has been uploaded the file has been uploaded um, yeah, so we have media push upload so this is a path so media slash upload and parameter media and that will be our file that has been submitted so we upload a file to twitter and so what we can do is to we can do a dd of the media and see the output so we go into our browser so let's input a message here um, yeah, so test upload any file any image so we have okay submit let's see Okay, so we have here this is the media string. So the media string is returned when we've successfully uploaded the file. So based on that ID, we will pass the ID to our status updates um, before we push to Twitter. So that's it. So these are the other parameters you can check out the height and the width of the image and so on. So you realize that we pick the media string attribute or value. If we assess it there uh, it's an object so we assess the media string then we pass it to our 
our our media IDs. You know, the parameters big status, the status will be the message in the media IDs. Then when you're pushing to Twitter, you just push it the parameters as an array. And that array contains the status in the media ID. So I'm sure we can upload multiple images, but I've not tried that. So yeah, so push attachment the message to Twitter status. Else, if no file has been uploaded, we just push a uh, status update. Of, we just uh, the body, you just text the uh, uh, content as text. So let's add a few comment message without attachment. Yeah, message without attachment. Push January return response to Jason. Yeah, so let's do a quick test. Welcome, coders. Let's upload a file. Um, open, then let's post. Uh, so let's so this is our Twitter handle. We come back to check. So what is it? Created at is here. So anytime you see this long response, that means the post has been successful. You get the post has been successful. So you can just go through. Um, these are all details we can from Twitter. So this is our Twitter and uh, is it here? Okay, let's refresh. We show up here the email. So welcome quotes 24 seconds ago. So that's it guys. Yeah, so we're gonna sort of open the image. Yeah, let me close it here. I'll just delete it from my Twitter and uh, Yeah, so basically that's it. We've been able to upload um a picture to our Twitter handle. So you can go through that um Twitter zero of documentation made by Abraham. And thank you guys for watching and if you like this video kindly subscribe and share so it is a new channel and uh, it's my expectation and my desire that the channel grows get more subscribers so you can subscribe and share so that um, we will do more videos and teach more